Girl, girl, please get it together. It's from Shein. <laughs> girls doing for new year like for whatever reason my shim was like being a, they were just taking off their pants and just what? Like, in front of all these people boom 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 don't bounce that ball boy girl i'm not finna show butt at the uh 260 sale hello simulation hello will i ever make it to a rave uh now that i'm really looking at him uh, like this shirt right here is 300 dollars Girl! Literally the next day, I saw Lil Nas X wearing that exact same jacket. Oh, she she works at a coffee shop and she's an artist. I'm finna start going in the women's section because they be having this stuff. These are sick. Literally somebody stopped to take my picture for some international fashion, men's fashion thing. Raw selvage denim. Oh, shit. We in the closet. We gotta clean out this closet, girl. I got one hour and I, 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 I'm I already tired. I don't wanna do it. I wanna go home. Do it look like I rolled out of the bed? Be honest. Yeah. You know, the crazy part is that I didn't. Like, this is how I got ready today. This is how I look. It's Sunday, baby. I got my Sunday slippers on and I'm in the closet. It's time to clean. Y'all think I could do this in one hour? I have all these clothes from years, years back. It ain't no reason I should have stuff from high school. Why do I keep having stuff like i'm so over having stuff i've cleaned out this closet six times the reason why this shit is keep going on is because of that big fat mouth yo, yo. i don't use this stuff i don't but for the first time in like 15 years the 15 years that i've been conscious and like able to perceive myself i feel like i have style all right you know what i mean like i feel like i have a style i know what i like and so now i just gotta go in my closet and be like any mini money no no, baby, you gotta go because you don't you don't look good on me no more. Get out of my face. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Luckily, it's like at least a little bit organized. I have all my shirts down here. I have um my pants over to this side and a lot of what's this? Girl, what's going on up here? This ain't organized. Oh snap! Don't look at Stop. don't look at this yet. Stop. Don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But this is supposed to be like tank tops and crop tops. And I have a few jackets up here that are like really precious to me. And we'll talk about that later. Over here, I have some like leftover folded up jeans and shorts. My issue is that I have all of my winter stuff and my summer stuff in one place. And I need to separate it so that it doesn't feel like I just have stuff in here that I'm not using. And of course, I got all my hair products and stuff in there. But we ain't talking about that stuff today. Don't even look. Let the mess begin, honey. I have a bunch of like gym clothes in here. And they're all from... I want to say ASOS, and surprisingly, they're like really holding up. I'm obsessed with these little like sweat wicking shirts. These are really good, although there's this brand. What is it called? I love Instagram for like shopping and getting inspiration for fashion, but there was this one workout brand that was like, oh, here it goes. Oh, what is this even called? Veined, V-E-Y-N-D.com. The workout gear on there is so cute and I want all of it, yeah. I'm gonna invest in that, but I need to save up money for all that because it's expensive. So I'm not gonna touch my workout clothes. Here goes a, a hoodie that is just too long. It's too long, it's from BetterHelp. What? <laughs> Girl, go get therapy, sis. It says on the back, this is my therapy outfit. That's real cute and everything, but it's just too big. See, that's where my problem kicks in. Oh, boy. It's too big. And it's like, how do I crop it if there's this big old pocket situation in the front? Maybe I can crop it above the pocket. Honestly, I might do that. This is a dress. Okay, great, uh, great gowns. I want to crop this. Yeah, why not? This shirt, oh my God, I gotta get rid of it. Exactly what I don't want in my closet. This is like an old sweatshirt that I got from H&M a long time ago. It's back when I wasn't being like too conscious about what I was purchasing. If it can be 100% cotton, great. That's a renewable resource. If it's given like acrylic or polyester, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Unless I'm like investing in a piece and I know I'm gonna have it like forever. This I just bought just because. I'm not doing that no more. I think I wanna dye it though. Like I wanna get like a cute color and dip dye it. I think that would be cool, right? And crop it a little bit. Oh, it's already cropped. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, I like this shirt, but I actually cropped it a little too short. And it's like kind of getting on my nerves. So I think what I'm gonna do is sell this shirt. Yeah, I'm gonna reopen my, um, what's it called? Poshmark? Yeah. Poshmark or Depop. I'm gonna reopen that and just start selling stuff. Cause this is something I don't wanna like donate. Cause it's really nice. And I haven't worn it much. It's from ASOS. It says Day Social. I think it's super cute. For me, my torso, I cropped it a little too far up. And I don't need y'all looking at my belly button. Some people say that the belly button is um, the opening to the soul. Who said that? This, I like, it goes with these pants. I, I enjoy it. It's like something I wear around the house. Girl, this I picked up recently from... What's that place called? Buffalo. Buffalo Exchange. Buffalo Hot Sauce Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> what the it's from Levi's. It has this kind of paint splatter on there and it fits 
so nice. What I'm gonna try to do at the end of this video is take the clothes that I have left, I'm really gonna try to boil it down and make as many outfits with those clothes as possible. So you'll see me try all this stuff on, but love it. How much was it? $30? This was $30. Buffalo be taxing. Oh, I found this also at Buffalo Exchange. I love this. I live. It's Calvin Klein. It's white on the back. And I got this from Buffalo Exchange. How much was this? I took the tag off because I knew better. Oh, yep, the tag fell off right there. I love this watercolor situation. Tuck it in, put it underneath the jacket, cute. How you gonna watch me do a whole closet clean out, but you don't even know the rubric for what stays and what goes? Clock that tea. Kinda looking like a trip to Pinterest to me. Let's go. So this is one of the 15 boards that I have on Pinterest, so creatively named fashion. And I'm so creative like that. I go on pictures like it is my job. I'm clocking in at nine. You ever clocked in anywhere before? No. Have you ever had a real job? No. Pictures be having the stuff. And unlike most other social media, it doesn't have a cesspool as a comment section. So let's look at this. There's some like residual stuff here from like <laughs> Renaissance when I was trying to figure out my outfit. But the most recent stuff is me trying to give a little revolution to my style. So I'm just going to go through a few that are like catching my eye. Speaking of eyes, like this from Calm Delane. This is beautiful. I really like the pants. The silhouette of the pants, the slouchiness, they scream comfort, but they're stylish. It's eye-catching, but it's not overwhelming. Right. Like, it's subdued still. Um, let's see. Oh, this right here is so cute. Girl, it's Dior, so you know, I didn't even check the price, baby. But I love the silhouette of this. I love a big, boxy shirt and a tiny, tiny, small short. That's cute. And the flatness of the shoe really, like, carries the weight of the outfit. I would love something like this. It looks, like, comfortable, right? Oh, my God. This from Off-White is cool crazy wow i love this so much it's like eyelets and there's a belt around the blazer and there's eyelets going down the sides of the pants it's from off-white it's on sale right now let me actually click through yeah girl it's on sale for 1400 <laughs> it's on sale for your rent baby but this is so sexy and beautiful cool to me where would i wear that i don't know but it's sick now this two-piece i saved it three times child this two-piece Oh my God, from Louis Vuitton. This is what I want to see. Look at the collar, y'all. Look at the collar. Let me zoom in. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. I thought the collar was a star shape. The shape of this shirt that's underneath it, like the little cut at the bottom, the print is understated. I love that, but I love a print. It's boxy on the top, baggy on the bottom. That's what I like. This is cute too. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. The roundedness about the shoulders, it looks comfy. It, li it literally looks like a hug. Aww. The interesting ways that it kind of buttons up, it offers you something different, like on the palette. When you're walking around, you don't see this, you know? I want to wear that. Even the shirt underneath it, I feel like that would start to piss me off a little bit. <laughs> like that all up in my uh, neck and stuff. My damn neck hurt. But for the most part, this looks super comfy and I don't even know who sells this. Let's see. Oh, love, love. It's simple, it's simple. This ain't, not, not too much going on here really, but I do love the simplicity of it. And I think it's the context. It's like business on the top, but fun on the bottom. It's like, okay, the context of how you would use the, the actual items that you're wearing is incongruent to like how you're actually using them. I love that. Like I remember when I was in high school, a few people made some like comments about like what I was wearing that made me feel so insecure. One girl saw me as I was walking to school and later that day in class, I overheard her talking about how I was wearing some shorts with like a sweater. Mind you, it's like transitioning from summer to fall. And I was just wearing some shorts with a little sweater on top. And then she made fun of me for that. I was like, why would you? Please, you, you wore a jean vest. Bianca Saunders. Hey, queen. Bianca, every one of her two-piece dim sets I want on my body right now. Look at the slit, baby. Look at the serpent tongue slit. The shoes doing a peekaboo. It's boxy on top, how I like it. I like a long arm as well. Oh my God, crop it and give me a long arm. I love it in this color. This color is goofy. This to me is a way to kind of like elevate casual wear. I don't usually think of pants as like statement pieces. I'm usually wearing like a basic pant and then I'm the, the top or the bag or the hat is the statement. But 2024 is gonna be the year of the pant. Like this, ugh, so cute. I used to hate V-necks so bad. Like why was I hating them so bad like that? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm thinking like I'm here for the wide neck, for the V-neck, for the interesting lines that collars can make. I'm here for it. And I wanna try to incorporate that into my fashion. Cute and boxy, mm -hmm. This is a lesson in color for me. Like, I wanna add color. I don't wanna be just wearing black no more. Like, look how fun. Just wear color. This McQueen, girl. girl. This to me reads as art. Like, putting a fit together like a good one, it's like, oh, you have an eye, like you're an artist. It really is just a way to communicate a vibe and I think this does exactly that. And that's really how I wanna kind of finish out this year. I wanna be 
like artist level when it comes to my own personal style. But the first step definitely involves cleaning out this closet. So let's keep it going. Uh, this I have a hard time with. I think I'm just gonna sell it. It's from Forever 21. It is a really nice jacket. They don't sell this one anymore. A pocket detail on the arm. There's an inside pocket. It's really nice and it's really clean and it looks brand new, but I just don't wear it. I'm gonna list that one for sale. Oh, this shirt I love. It's a fun little material. It's breathable and it's visually interesting. Although it is kind of plain, it's muted. I'm gonna keep this. Oh my God, girl. This one is like, it's like, give it up, give it up. But girl, this is an easy shirt. This is an easy shirt for me. I'm gonna keep this. It's just a fun way. It says pick up your trash and has a cute little saying on the back. I'm gonna keep this because it's, I use it. Every time I wear this, y'all say I look like an inmate. Why? I can't unsee it now. Like when I be looking in the mirror, I be like, oh my God. I think I'm just gonna sell this because I'm not wearing that. This shirt, I love. I love this shirt. On the back, it has this cute butterfly detail. I like it a lot. It's from ASOS. I have this regular like black shirt. It's from ASOS. I really want like a thick, nice good long lasting shirt that's just black i want one that's white as well because these hoes don't be holding up first of all i got deodorant stains all up in here that don't come out so clean it and it's only a matter of time before the holes start showing up in the armpit <laughs> <laughs> but i'm gonna keep it for now because it's just a basic this right here i cropped do i like this i don't really like the color of this like the color is like off-putting to me what would be cool is if i could marble this you know what i'm saying like kind of grunge it up a little bit if i had like a a slightly darker tan and I could like kind of tie dye it that way. I think that's what would make it visually interesting for me, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Y'all know how to do that? If you know how to do that, comment down below. I think I'm gonna dye it. Yeah. This shirt I love, but it's starting to get on my nerves. It's starting to get on my nerves. I just don't know how to style it. Like, isn't this cool? This is a cool shirt, but it's, I don't know. It's like see-through and the threads is coming out of the closet. Let, Let God, God be, be true quickly. quickly. I'm going to keep it because I have to keep it. This is what I do every single time with this same, with this shirt. Ooh, these two shirts I actually really um, like. I have to like get them, you know, steamed out. I actually have an industrial grade steamer <laughs> over here to the left. I got these two shirts at the 260 sale. If y'all have not heard about 260, 260 is crazy. I went to one of their in-store pop-ups in Miami. And what they do is they take high-end fashion and they slash the prices like 90%. It is crazy. But they're only pop-up events. It's also like an online pop-up situation. But there was like Montclair jackets in there for like $300. And they're usually like, you know, $2,000 plus. Dollars. So I got some just 100% cotton, really nice shirts from there. I got a pair of shorts from there. And my total came out to like $80. Like this shirt right here is $300. <laughs> Girl! They got Para, Gucci, uh, Jill Saunders. Jill Saunders is one of my favorite brands. All kinds of stuff. There was a jacket in there that literally the next day, I saw Lil Nas X wearing that exact same jacket. Anyway, so I'm keeping these. These are new finds. I like those. This shirt, I love. I love this shirt. It's really cute. It fits me really well. And I have no issues with this other than when I sweat, baby girl, it shows immediately. What's this? What's this? When did I buy this? Oh, I got this for free. <laughs> Shout out to YouTube. YouTube gave me a bunch of clothes for free. And this is for a shirt from Nordstrom. Um, I like it. I just haven't worn it yet. So I don't even know how to style it. I'm going to wear it. It's 100% merino wool. This I feel of two minds about because I've had this for so long. I got it from, I got it from Goodwill. It's like a biker's jacket liner. Like it's not even what people wear. And I like it but I really would like to upgrade to something a little bit more structured. This, I kind of put it on and it's just, it's kind of floppy, but I still wear it. So until I can find a new jacket, I'm keeping this. We are dream girls, boy, we'll make you happy. Let's be honest, I do not wear this and I'ma sell it. Why? I don't wear it. Oh, this was my biggest <laughs> fail yet. Why did I buy this? It's just too big. You think I can crop this without it like falling apart? Cause it's like a knitted sweater. That's the only issue is that it's too big, baby. It's almost to my knees. It still got the tags on it. Cause I just never wore it. I need to crop this. I need to just crop it and see if it works. I got to do the science experiment. No! Y'all, I don't know about this one. I think I'm gonna finally get rid of this one. It's not my vibe. It's not edgy enough. It's too like I work at an office or something. We just got to get rid of stuff. Like even if you think you want it, just get rid of it. This shirt, I don't want either. This is from Shein. Who? I ain't gonna lie, it's from Shein. Uh, no, she by Shirai. She's not by Shirai. Pardon me? And 
<laughs> Girl, it's from Shein because I got real desperate for the Renaissance concert. And while everybody was buying their outfits from Shein and everybody was walking around with this same shirt, I don't want this. I'm donating it. I'm going to sell it for $1. Now, this is something that I feel like I could dress up. I, I know it's basic, but I feel like I can. And I swear, we still at the basic stuff. We still at the basic stuff. This, I'm keeping. I purchased this in college from ASOS. And I remember wearing it to a college party and some big jock man... I remember he was so out of place at the party that I was at, but whatever. This big old football player was like, hey, yo, I like your shirt. And I was like, thank you. Gay, gay. And I was like drunk coming out of this, this like basement party in one of the frats. He was like, yeah, I like the neckline. The neckline, that's like real European. <laughs> Here's me gagging. Huh, girl, I was cracking. Oh, I died laughing, girl. Oh, this is inside out. Go figure. Go crazy. Go stupid. I think I could dress this up. My style is kind of leaning more streetwear nowadays. And I like the fact that this has a zipper on the shoulder. Thin and it's fitted and it has this like nice seamless line down the back. This shirt gotta go. I don't wanna be basic no more. Like that's my issue. I don't wanna look like I'm just walking between classes at college. It's not happening. I'm upgrading and leveling up in 2024. To do more, better and bigger things. This shirt gotta go. But it is cute. It's like a cute little vintage shirt. I think it's cute. I'm just gonna sell it. Finally get rid of that one. Cause that one been holding me down. I feel it. I felt it on my shoulders, like, this shirt I like too, it's just a fitted, thick up black shirt. I'd wear this with maybe like a nice waffled wool pant and then some sickening boots. Yes. Renna, 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 song. Yeah, girl, I'm keeping this. I'll keep it, I have not worn this. I bought this in London, baby. And I probably won't ever wear it. Wash cold, do not tumble dry. 100% cotton, turn up. Oh yeah, I cropped this one. Beyonce! You know, this is the one that came with the CD. What size is this? Size small, what size is this? Size medium. Should've got a size larger. I played myself. What's B? Your upper body. This is too small. That's why I don't even be wearing this. I think I might sell this. Cause I, do y'all want this? <laughs> do you? If somebody wants this out there, I'm gonna sell it for just a little bit of money and just sell it. Cause it's just too small for me to wear. But I do like this one. This shirt make me look like I'm about to sell you car insurance. It's nice though. I um thrifted it. It's Perry Ellis. I'm gonna keep it because it is just cute. It does yes, that. You know yes, what I'm saying? Like that. Ooh. This I have to crop. I don't want this shirt unless I crop it. So I'm gonna put it in the crop pile. I'm gonna take that to the tailor. There's a black lady that does tailoring. Okay. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this like black. Oh, I'm gonna go to the black own girl. And not go in there. And she was like so stone cold. I was like. <laughs> Girl, why was she so stone cold? It took me so far back. Every time I imagine like a black owned business, I think of them being like so friendly and nice. And she went in there and she gave me the cold shoulder. But I'm still go to her cause she did a good job here. I don't care how cold she is. Girl, girl, please get it together. What the? Please get it together. You making me, you making me get, catch a headache and an attitude. She just gave me a fucking headache. Who you calling pinhead? I'm not gonna wear this. I'm gonna sell this one. Who you calling pinhead? I've been trying to get rid of that shirt, trying to make it make sense. It's not making it make sense. Oh my God, how come I ain't wearing this this year? Girl, I did not wear my Christmas shirts this year. I sure enough didn't. It's Christmas. Because I didn't do Vlogmas. I didn't want to do Vlogmas this year. I was tired. And I took a beating. I took a mental beating. I got jumped mentally this year. <laughs> it's not, it's not, Vlogmas is not conducive to good, good health, baby. They got people staying up till 4 a.m. I know people tired. I know they tired. Like, if you know anybody doing Vlogmas, make sure you be nice to them in the comment section. I'm going to keep these because I do wear them. But I do need to separate these clothes. Like, take this upstairs. You know what I'm saying? This shirt, I'm finally going to get rid of. It's a really nice fabric. Yeah, this is actually really nice and I don't want to give it up, but I'm going to give it up. Dang, now I'm looking at it like, uh, I'm trying to see if it go with jackets and stuff. Nah. No. This shirt I enjoy a lot, but I already have pit stains in there because I sweat. I have hyperhidrosis and I don't know how to do laundry, baby. You're 38 years old. How long you going to be doing this? <laughs> I don't be owning clothes that are like pure white, so I don't be using bleach. I can't sell, I'm not selling these with the pit stains, baby. So I'm just, I'm just this is gonna be my around the house shirt. This I'm getting rid of. I love this shirt, how it fits me. However, it's this part. Sleeves, they always be like crumpled and wrinkled. And it's hard to get them to just be straight. Yay, yay. What's going on? Why do we keep doing that? Like, it's going this way. Like, no, I'm trying to straighten it down. This shit keep going like, whoop. Why is it doing that? 100% rayon? Ain't that plastic? I kind of want to try to dye it. I would like to dip dye it if I can. I know it's like hard to dye synthetic fabrics, but I want to dip dye it. Kind of like this shirt, which is so much fun and so cool, but I never wear it. I never wear this, y'all. It's so cute though, but I think I will wear it. Yeah, I think I will wear it. Like, I feel like I could wear this with some white pants or even some like light wash jeans with a cute boot, Tim's or some Doc Martens, and a cute bag too. Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping this and I'm gonna wear it. I will wear it, I will wear it. This shirt I gotta get rid of. This baseball ass shirt 
we have to get rid of it. But it fits me really nicely. It's just, it's not my style no more. I'm getting rid of this shirt finally. Foul, foul, foul. Uh, interception. Girl, it's giving referee. Don't bounce that ball, boy. I don't know what referees be saying, girl. I'ma sell this. Okay, this shirt, Whoa! I have to say, is actually a really nice shirt. It's from Shein. <laughs> I know, I don't shop at Shein. It was literally one time, <laughs> it was one time. I don't shop there and I will never shop there again. This looks like an alien jellyfish. This could be nice, even for like New Year's Eve. Hold on, hold on on that. Oh my now. God, let me find a New Year's party. Now hold on. What my, what my, girl, what, what my girl's doing for New Year's? I'm trying to go shake some <laughs> I am getting rid of this. Bye. Yes, ma'am. Get rid of this. See, like, this is not my style anymore. It gives, like, very basic Disney Channel character when I wear it. You know what I mean? But I know that if I gave this to somebody, like, they probably could style it up. And it would look actually really good. And I probably could do that too, huh? No. No, I'm just gonna style it. Oh, this shirt. Aww. This shirt is such good quality for whatever reason. I've had this for, oh my god, it's been, like, five years I've had this shirt. And I've only worn it a couple of times. And it's, like, so white. The armpits looking good. There ain't no armpits. Thing. Like, what is going on with this shirt? Every time I see this shirt, I'm like, ooh, that could eat. That could eat. Really? I'm so hungry. That could eat so bad if I really played my cards right. But I never do anything with it. If by the next closet clean out, I do not wear this, I have to let this go. It's been too long. But I like this shirt. It's so cute. This one can go, this turtleneck. Also trying to get rid of like lots of these basic colors. I got a lot of gray stuff. Mm. I got a lot of black stuff. Mm. Got a lot of dark colored stuff. This shirt I actually kind of do like. Tucked in with like a black pant a little tiny belt, a slim shoe. I think this could work really well. But then I feel like I just described somebody who work at like T-Mobile. I bought this because I was going to Cabo and I was like, ooh, gotta get some clothes for Cabo. This is too hot, baby. This is, in this don't make no sense. I mean, I guess there's like sweater vests and stuff like that, but I don't like it. Dang. So we're selling that. Oh my God. Uh, wow. Okay, so I pretty much got rid of half of my closet. All that space is gone. That's crazy. Ooh, it's dirty back there. Uh-uh, get the, get the um thing. Mm-mm, child. <laughs> When I grow up, I'm gonna buy me a house. Make love in the house. Stay up late in this. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me put on a hat. Cause I feel like I just look past it. I just walk past the mirror. Child, put on this hat. Make it look a little bit more cute. The only thing I miss about not having hair is the fact that I could wear a hat and it could just fit real easy. I like hats on me. I would definitely be somebody who wore hats all the time if I didn't have hair. Now I'm gonna tackle this top shelf. Jeans, pants, and it's not a lot. It's not a lot of stuff. And tank tops. I guess I'll start with this. This is a new find. I got this from that 260 cell. It's from South 2 West 8. And there's just some like really interestingly shaped pants. A really nice color. This navy is pretty. Now, we couldn't really try stuff on in the shop. They didn't have dresser rooms, but they did have mirrors there. Some people were being bold to just like take, they were just taking off their pants and just in front of all these people. Oh my God. I thought this was a classy party. Girl, I'm not finna show butt at the uh, 260 sale. I bought these blindly. I was like, oh, I guess they'll fit me. And they only came in medium large and small which i hate i don't like it's it. like give me a 33 give me a 34 like i have a very specific vision for how i would style these i need like a white cropped almost slouchy white net shirt that has some cool interesting detail maybe even like a waffle shirt and i would love to wear it with some cute sandals i just don't have that <laughs> i mean what the f <laughs> which is why you really shouldn't buy stuff thinking like you need a specific outfit for it you know you should buy it because you really really like it but i'm getting better at that no you're not you're not, baby, and it's okay. I'm keeping this no matter what. Actually, I put my shorts over here. Calvin Klein has had this sale going on all of December, and I almost felt very lucky to discover it, to find it. I was in Miami for Art Basel, and I picked up my first denim, like, matching set. It was really expensive, but the trip was free, so I had all this budget left over, because <laughs> I was going to go on a trip anyway in December. So I had this budget left over, and I was like, I guess I'll just buy this outfit, and it was expensive. It was from this designer called Victor Muj. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I think that's how you say it. Muji, he's, like, Brazilian but also based in Miami. He makes these like really dope fits. While I was there, he was styling Maluma, but I purchased something from him and I am obsessed. I was like, oh, this is my style. So I went on the hunt for more denim two pieces. Oh, let's do eight of these. Like, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. And I found um, Calvin Klein was having this sale. It's like 70% off. And then they were having this one week where it was like an extra 20% off. Hey! So 90% off of some of their things. And like these pair of pants right here, so nice. Y'all, so nice. It's this like marbled tan, so subtle, but it's so beautiful. And these pants were $130, but I got them for like 30 bucks. Whoa. You can't even find pants at like H&M for 30 bucks nowadays. Such good denim, it's 100% cotton. I also picked up this shirt. It's an oversized shirt, good quality. I was looking for a shirt like this anyway, $90, but I got it for 
however much 90% off is. It has a cute little tag, Calvin Klein on the bottom. And this is the jacket to match the pants, also marbled. Love it even with this hat. Yeah, I know you see, I know you see. And the jacket was 200 bucks, y'all. $200, but I got it for like 40 to 50 bucks. Guess stop playing with me, I'm keeping these. Um, This shirt I picked up recently, where's this from? It's like H&M or something. I think it's H&M. This was in the women's section, and it's inside out right now, but I love this. I'm definitely keeping this. It's like crop topped. I'm finna start going in the women's section because they be having this stuff. I bought that in my Houston vlog, so if you haven't seen my Houston vlog, go watch it. Go watch it. Oh, okay. This shirt I like. Got it from Buffalo Exchange, and then I cropped it. It's one of my few like successful crops. I feel like I be trying to crop everything and then not crop it. And I'm like, I cropped it too low and too short. But when I feel like, when I wear this, I feel like I belong here in Arizona. I'm like, oh, I'm one of them. I'm one of these. This is like an unsuccessful crop. Damn. I'm selling this. This is a, this was an expensive shirt. It's from Robert Graham. I don't know who this man is. 100% cotton. Um, Really nice, really nice shirt. Beautiful. <laughs> like really nice. So I'm gonna sell this one. I cropped that. I need to slow down on the crop and like crop a little bit at a time. This gotta go. I can't, I can't, I can't. What even is that? Um, this I'ma sell too. Like y'all can have this if you want it. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear it. Or should I wear it? Am I ever gonna go to a rave? What? Hello? Hello simulation? Hello? Will I ever make it to a rave? I feel like I should keep this for a rave. <laughs> I've been invited to one rave and that was when I was in Amsterdam. I was like messaging the rave host and they ain't nobody was talking back. We was gonna go to the rave, but it started getting weirder and weirder. Not funny, haha. -ha. That's a story for another time. This shirt I have to get rid of. <laughs> No, this is like my around the house shirt. I'm gonna keep this. I'm starting to get like scissor happy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this gotta go. Got a blast. I don't like it no more. This shirt I'm keeping. You can't really see it from this side out, but here's a picture of me in it. It's cute. It's really cute. I got it from Fashion Over. And now them hoes will not stop texting me. I, I said stop. I literally typed stop. Stop to quit. Stop. Stop it. This racer bag is so cute. I never wear it but I will never get rid of it. And you can never make me not love it. I also really like this moment. It's a woman's shirt. The neckline comes down so far. Cause I think it's like meant for big boobies. What? And I do be wearing it actually. Who gonna tell it? Somebody tell it before I do. Cause I'm gonna hurt the feelings. Why did I make this? I made it for one video and then I never wore it again. I think it'll have a reprise. Girl Scouts will have a reprise. Trust. So I'm gonna keep this. That's a will on the whim artifact, baby. <laughs> Okay, now the hard part. I have all these jeans and pants that like, I never wear, cause I wear the same black jeans every single day. Uh, now that I'm really looking at them. Uh, yeah, this one's hard because I do wear these every once in a while. I need to crop them hoes. I be so scared to take the knife to them cause I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna mess it up. I would love for these to have like a raw edge at the bottom. Oh my God, I love these pants. I love these pants. And apparently y'all do too cause y'all be complimenting me on them. I love how I feel in them. I love how they like are long at the bottom and they kind of pull at the bottom. Wearing these with some boots, some like big old thick like Prada boots. I don't, I don't have no Prada boots, baby. I don't got that. But some chunky heeled boots like these. Whoa! Oh my God, and just stuff them holes in there. Why are they so big? This is not my size, is it? This is not my size. I know that's not my shoe size. Size 11? Somebody lying to me. These shoes is big old hammer boot Watch shoes. Watch 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 anyway, I'm keeping these pants. Um, These pants gotta go. Why? I don't like them and I don't wear them. Shut up! Okay, I got like 20 minutes left. These are cute, but they just too damn hot. Why are they so hot? I sweat so bad in these, but they look so cute. I could be 10 feet underwater in the Arctic Ocean, baby, and these would still make me sweat. That's crazy. That's crazy for real, right? I'm not gonna wear these. I'm not, baby, and that's okay. I'm gonna sell them. All right. These are some cargo pants. I love me a good cargo pant. I think everybody should have at least like one simple cargo pant. Actually, no, I don't. I don't believe that. I don't care what y'all have. You can have whatever you want, baby. Wear what you like. But I have seen cargo pants out there that are way better quality than these ones. But listen, I have these. These work, so I'm gonna wear these. Oh, this pant. I love this pant. I've never washed these, fun fact. Wait, what? Because I wear them like for five minutes and then I put them back. Had these since 2000 and maybe 19 or 18. I like them. It's a good like summertime pant with a cute jean jacket over it. I feel like I'm going on a boat when I wear these pants. I'm gonna keep that. Ooh, these are my Paul Smiths. This is like one of the first like luxury purchases I've ever made, which I don't make often. There's a cute till drawstring. Such nice quality and these are breathable. 
these are breathable. Like I can see through them actually when I hold them to the light. Yeah, these are great. What's like a white Air Force One? These pop off. They're banded at the bottom. It's just good quality. Um, these I don't like. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like these jeans. I did when I purchased them, but I don't like them now. I think I'm going to crop them and see if I can do like a raw edge moment. Maybe it'll make me like them more. Oh, this one's hard, y'all. These are pants that I thrifted from like Goodwill. Durable, superior, authentic quality jeans. Okay. I liked how these looked on me. They gave me like, oh, she she works at a coffee shop and she's an artist and they're they're very lax. But at the bottom of the jean, it's like always wrinkly and bulgy. It looked like if I had big shins, like for whatever reason, my shin was like big and, big and voluptuous. I think I want to try to crop this too. I think I'm just going to get rid of these. They're from this brand called Lost. And I was obsessed with these pants, but what could I wear this with? I think I'm going to keep these. I don't have any pants that are just pants, like things that aren't jeans. These pink jeans I'm going to keep because they're fun and I made these. If you a barb, you giving me barb vibes. I dyed them pink and I also put it's too damn hot on it upside down. It's too damn hot because because when I made these, it was literally too hot outside. But I also thought when I made these pants, they were too pink as in they were too damn hot pink. So I'm going to keep these. I actually really do like this shirt. It's like a leotard. Well, well, baby, it's not a shirt. It's a leotard. It clipped around the... <laughs> What? Put this with my tank tops, right? As you should, queen. Now this is the two-piece set that I bought from Victor. These are sick. Like, look how sick this is. Are you serious? That's the guy's name. Victor Moody. Who? Moody. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. That's a big word for Elmo. But this right now is my literal favorite outfit. When I wear this, I feel so good. It's really boxy on top. And the guy, when I bought it, he was like, you sure you want XL? I was like, yeah, I want XL, baby. What's V? Because that's the one that fit. <laughs> Girl, don't hate the player, hate the game. Oh, these pants too eat down. I actually wear this, and I still haven't taken the tag off. I've worn this so many times. These are from Minimal, M-N-M-L. -M -M um, they have a lot of really great stuff. I, it's not all my style, but these these pants are really cool. They're like drawstring. They create this really cool effect where they're like bunched up all over. And it's like really lightweight too, which is crazy. Like I'm not sweating in these, but I am sweating in these, baby. Hot. I made these for the Renaissance tour, baby. They got a little bit of sparkle on it. You can't, I don't know if you can see the sparkle. I think I'd wear these again for sure. Got a little sparkle on the butt too. I would wear these again, so I'm gonna keep them. Now these pants, girl, I feel like I never touch cause they're way in the back. I know for sure I wanna get rid of these. I'm not really into things that remind me of like the military. <laughs> Do I wear these? I'd never touch these. Now that I'm really looking at them, Oh, this kind of cute even with this hat on. Let's show you right on. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this. I picked up this recently. One of my favorite pieces. It's like a cute little knit. Crops exactly at the waist. It's exactly the silhouette that I want in something like this. And it has this huge collar. It's really flattering. And I love the kind of knit pattern on there. I got this from Buffalo Exchange. It's from Ruff. Zef keeping that. I have this uh, denim jacket from DKNY that I got a long time ago. I thrifted it. It has like this stain on the inside. Nasty. But. It's on the inside, baby, it's down there. The jacket is really nice quality. It's really thick and heavy and it's oversized. It still has the crispness to it, which is what I love about denim. I'm gonna keep this. I also have this cropped denim jacket from Salt Murphy. I have some pants to go with it. I'm obsessed, obsessed. I wore this to Art Basel. Literally somebody stopped to take my picture for some international fashion, men's fashion thing. Because of the way it fits, like you can see the arm, the arm detail. It gives like cowboy almost, and it cinches in at the back. Saw Murphy, it was a little expensive. It was $100 for the jacket and $100 for the pants. It's from an Australian brand, and I've had my eye on this set for a whole year. I went to go buy it, actually, I was like, okay, I'll buy it. And it was gone. What? It was gone, y'all. So I messaged them, on, I DM'd them on Instagram, and they were like, it's back. And not only was it back, but it was like, on sale because it was Black Friday. These are the pants that go with it. Look at this. Wow, look how they did the toe. Huh? The zipper rather is crazy. The zipper is so cool. The detail there is really cool. And there's like a hidden button in the back so that the zipper zips all the way up. Just a really nice straight pant that has a really like boxy nature. One thing about me, girl, I love boxy. Then I got another denim two piece set from Calvin Klein. Really nice. These pants I wore to like an LVMH uh, Rock Nation activation and the girls were complimenting me down and the girls in there were so fashionable I, I did not know what I was walking into they kind of pull at the bottom So they're really kind of big and heavy down there and if you wear them with a really cool thick boot Super cute raw salvage denim and the jacket is nice too The only thing about denim is that it bleeds like if you wear like a white shirt underneath it and it's like a new piece of denim. That denim ink is gonna bleed right onto that white shirt, so you gotta be careful. That's pretty much it, y'all. I have a bunch of stuff here, like shorts for the for the summertime, that 
I don't necessarily want to get rid of until the summer. Like, I'll revisit that in the summertime. I do have a bunch of glasses as well. We do not care. That I don't, like, like, I, okay, what is this? Like, where did I buy these? These are kind of, I think I'm going to sell these. Like, I don't wear, I'm not wearing these anymore. I'm going to dust these off and sell them. Oh, I guess worth mentioning is that I made this purse. Like, I, I bought this little patch and put it on this purse. Wow. I'm really looking for a nice crossbody. I know there's one from Coach. It's expensive. I think it's like, it has to be like 200 plus dollars or probably even 300, 400 dollars. That's one that I want. I'm looking for a dupe because I don't want to spend that much money on something unless I'm really going to invest in it. I think it's just time that I start wearing a purse, a crossbody, a bag because I can't carry all this stuff in my hands, baby. I want to keep embellishing this. Like, I want to put like hoop rings down here like gagoon, 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 and maybe put a few more patches on there i was like thinking of painting it like painting something on there but i think it's cute yeah i'm gonna get more into like bags how about that i did also buy these pants from calvin klein because it was all cheap this was like 15 dollars, baby look how cool these pants are are you serious oh snap yeah like that's cool <laughs> that's cool baby i'll be back a little bit later to try some outfits on bye Oh my God, finally, we are done with the closet. Getting rid of all the stuff. Shout out to you for hanging out for that long. Now we can get onto the fun stuff. Let's put on some outfits. Okay, so these pants, you know I love these pants. And this tank top, um, I feel like they both are giving kind of grunge. That's what I was going for here. Like we had a juice bar with the grunge girl. Okay. Um, and I paired it with these big old clunky, ch chunky boots that are definitely not my size. I wear size 11, but I don't look like a size 11. Somebody lying to me, I swear. Um, I think the hat, the glasses, and the little satchel that I got from so long ago that I never wear, I forgot that I had that. I think it all goes well together. Like, I feel like maybe it's giving, oh, fee, five, foe, foam. Girl, what's going on? Um, I think it's all working together really well. Um, yeah, I like this outfit. I would give this, you know, a good, like, solid eight out of 10. I feel like it could be elevated. Something about it could be like, a little bit better. Maybe I need, maybe I need a tattoo or something. I think I'm giving, I need a tattoo. Okay, next up um, is Calvin Klein on the bottom. I love these pants. And sorry for, this, the exposure was kind of like wonky this entire time. I gotta I got figure that out. So you can't really see the details, but the Calvin Klein pants are baggy on the bottom and this shirt that I haven't tried on in like a year or two looks so good. I love the kind of dropped shoulder. I love the wide neckline. The zipper detail gives a little like sparkle shine interest up there by the face. I'm into it. It all works together. I also paired it with these sandals that I got from Nike. Um, I don't know, I don't really like the sandals that much, but I think they counterweight the, uh, the heaviness of the outfit with the, the brick colored hat and this cute little purse that I got that I, I thrifted from Goodwill a while ago. Didn't know what to do with it, but I think I'm gonna paint like, koi fish on there or something, or hire like some artist to paint on the bag. Oh, yeah, he is so goofy and so he needs to sit down. But this is so cute. I would wear this like to a party, a cocktail party. Okay, next up we have the pants from Lost. Um, I I was like, I don't know if I wanted to keep these pants. They, they're given like brunch pants, you know what I'm saying? Like black, br <laughs> black boy at brunch pants. Mm. However, the print on it is so muted that I think it's kind of cute and I can work with it. The tight um, t-shirt is great. It's not just like a black t-shirt, it has form, it's tight. And I have my Renaissance hat on, cause it's cute. It's a vibe, I got that in my Club Renaissance bag. Unique. And I paired it with these black Tevas. Um, I think this is a good like night out in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? Especially with this little purse. Like I really feel like I can go grab some non-alcoholic drinks, cause the girl does, does not drink with my friends at night or meet up, meet up with them at a cool restaurant. Yeah, cute, cute little jig. Not the Chuck and Chubb. Not the shuck and jive. Okay, this outfit, I did, um, I didn't find any pants that I could like really pair with this shirt, except for these pants that I made a long time ago. Like I thrifted these pants and then I decided to paint and like, got, not paint, I really just kind of drew in gothic letters the word unt with a C in front of it, but I left out the U and the N. The U and the N are actually on the back pockets. You can't really see it because it's covered up by the shirt. But I love this. I love the silhouette, I love the hat, the hat's doing some work, and I paired it with my little moon boots that, girl, I might as well be wearing, oh, he's cool. Look at him standing there, he's cool. But these shoes, I might as well be wearing hot dogs on my feet, baby, the way that people be stopping me and being like, what shoes are those, like, where'd you get those from? Apparently there's some like, knockoff Balenciaga 
shoe. Like they look like they're, they're reminiscent of these Balenciaga shoes or <gasps> not Balenciaga, maybe something else. I don't know. It's giving knockoff. However, I think it's cute. It's a cute moment. Okay, now this. Well, I love the color brick. So that's why I purchased this shirt. Also, I was afraid that I was gonna like sweat through this shirt and I was gonna be disturbed by how many wrinkles are in it. But I kind of um. like the wrinkles a little bit and it's a light airy shirt. So I don't even feel like overheated in this. Hot. Um, I love it paired with the hat, the glasses, the hue of those things just kind of work together. With the cargo pants. Actually beautiful. Girl, stop playing with your boy. I love this fit. I really like this bag. I could I could have put that bag down. Like put it, yeah, that's, yeah, put it down. Right, exactly. But I'm going to put on this Levi's um, bomber jacket. I don't know if it's denim or not. Like I haven't really checked. I don't know what the what the fabric makeup is. But like I said, I, I thrifted that from Buffalo Exchange. This is cute. I oh I switched the bag. I switched the bag to my cow pack. It's a water resistant like travel backpack that also can be used like to go to the coffee shop. I love that backpack and it's super cute. It's super shiny. Um, I think this works well. Like I would absolutely go to a cool hip like Java bar with this. Um, I think it's sick. Okay, next outfit. Oh my God, y'all, these pants that I got from Calvin Klein, these sweatpants. I was looking for a shirt actually on the website that goes with it. And they do have a shirt that kind of goes with it. It's here. However, it only comes in XXXL. Like it's on sale, but the, the only one left is an extra, extra large. I was like, I'm not doing that. But I did find this pink shirt in my closet that I purchased for the Barbie premiere that YouTube like invited me to, that I purchased last minute because I was like, oh, I need something pink. And I didn't end up wearing this tank top because I didn't like the fit. It's a woman's tank top. It's real low in the front and real low in the back. But now, I love it. With this hat on and these cute boots, it's a vibe. It's really a vibe. Like, I feel like, I don't know where I would wear this. Comment down below, like, can you help me? Like, where would I wear this? I don't know. Like, where, oh, he tried it with this, um. I don't like that. Go he tried it with this little, <laughs> this shirt. Girl, there's no cover up. I don't really like this shirt with these pants. I've been trying to make this shirt work for years. I think it requires like a light wash jean because whatever I'm doing, girl, it hasn't been working. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Those are all of the outfits or rather five or so outfits that I was able to put together with the stuff that I had left in my closet. I'm so happy to continue my journey to becoming one with my own fashion sense. Like editing down my closet to things that aren't, aren't just like safe was so necessary. Like y'all, I'm trying to elevate, okay? No matter if I'm going to the grocery store or some like industry event, I want to look good. I want to feel good. Period. And listen, the work does not stop here. I got a lot more to do. I'm going to be looking and searching for more things that kind of help me figure out what my style is. If you know any like brands or designers even who make stuff that would practically fit my silhouette, like even if they make like women's wear, because you know my silhouette is identical to that of um, Beyonce's. So if you know anybody, let me know down below. And don't say boohoo man. Don't say boohoo man. I'm just gonna block you like that Ooh, you're gonna get blocked like no shade but i'm looking for 100 cotton and i just can't i have to move out of this fast fashion thing i've already started purchasing some stuff and i'm still looking so hopefully by the next video i'll have a haul like a haul for you all and maybe we'll get to see all of the crop and like dye jobs that i said i was gonna do in this video i think i'm gonna dye it i need to just crop it and see if it works i would like to dip dye it if i can crop them crop this too i need to crop them hoes like but until then i hope you liked this video if you did give it a big old thumbs up and if you want to stick around be my friend be my homie go ahead and click that subscribe button don't forget to follow me everywhere online just don't follow me in real life why because I'm, I'm for christmas i got one of them um rings what yeah you know what i'm talking about pal right in the kissing mm, now it look like you paint your face with blueberries i hope to see you back here real soon for another episode of will on a whim but until then bye <laughs>